Right. Hello YouTube. Uh, six pound off this week. Uh, so I'm one pound uh, off going into the stone bracket below. Well, maybe two pound. If I lose one pound, I'll, I'll be just you know that stone flat sort of thing. Uh, what's to say really? Well, I've upped my calories. A couple of days I had two to two and a half thousand, maybe even three, three and a half. Because uh, some people say eat back your burnt off calories through exercise. I don't really like doing that, but I sort of had a bit of a play around this week with it. Uh, most days, well, oh, maybe two or three. I probably stayed around 12 to 1500 calories, uh, but I upped the exercise, uh, upped the walking as you know with that video and I uh, did more uh, meters on the rower. Uh, so yeah, I mean without the extra calories there's no way I could have done that sort of exercise, especially on the rower. Excuse me. It actually absolutely kills me when I don't have enough calories. It like I'm right on the edge. Uh, put it out this week, so I'm thinking of upping them again this week uh, to try and maintain the level of exercise. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. It depends how it goes, but that's you know sort of an idea, sort of a plan I've got for this week, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I might tack on at the end of this just a few pictures of my old walking boots. They are uh, eight year old, but uh, I haven't obviously have not walked in them for that length of time. They've not seen eight years of active duty. Uh, maybe done three to four years. They've seen me through two weight loss journeys. Well, one and a half, I suppose. Uh, anyway, for the last couple of weeks, this started causing blisters and uh, sore spots on the top of my foot, uh, blisters on both big toes either side, uh, underneath uh, my left big toe, ball of my foot. Anyway, it, it uh, all culminated on Tuesday with that long walk, and all the soles of my feet were ruined, and it was just. Uh, you know, I've, I've had enough now of them boots. I'm, I'm not persisting with them. So I cut one up to see uh, how they sort of put together, what materials are used and stuff like that. Uh, but after taking them apart, I mean, I, I, I've never cut any other pair of walking boots apart, so I can't really compare. But they were certainly constructed in a more solid and involved complicated way than what I imagined they would be so it's probably uh, no surprise why they lasted so long anyway I've got some new boots coming so that'll be okay because uh, I, I need the ankle support I fell over a couple of times uh, while walking and uh, if I didn't have the boots on my ankle would have gone and I'd have trashed my ankle as well sprains and stuff but it really, really is essential that, at this weight anyway, that I have that kind of ankle support. Uh, not sure what else to say here. Oh, I'm about, that's it, I'm about £22 off uh, halfway point. Uh, so there's quite a lot to lose. I've lost a lot and there's a lot to go yet. Uh, I think that's about it really. I might tack on a bit of info uh, about the rowing, the distances and stuff each day. And like I said, them pictures uh, of my boots. But I think that's about it. Right, six pound off. Job done this week. See you later YouTube. Right, I just thought I'd show this quickly. Uh, this is my uh, rowing log, like an online facility which just tracks uh, what meters I've done. This is July, I think, 28th, 29th, 
August. Uh, so as you can see, last four days, that's Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. So I was doing, uh, you know, call it 10k a day. Uh, it was actually part of a challenge arranged by uh, Concept2 who made the rules. Uh, the first week uh, you had to do 10, second week 20, third week 30, and then the last week, which we're currently still in, how the uh, system works the weeks out, uh, do 40. So I've done 100k, well at least 100k, I've not actually counted it up, but I should have done easily 100k. Uh, let's have a quick look. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 40, 25, call that 2, could be 2.5 but we'll call it 2, so it's 27, call that 10, uh, 37, call that 10, 47, call that 2, 47, 49, call that 5, 54, 64, call that 5, call these two 5, 74, call that 2, 76, and 40, so that's uh, 116, I think, 106, 116, 116, yeah, uh, yeah, so I've hit the 100k uh, for August. And there's still a few days to go yet, so I'll probably do more than that by the time months done. But I'm just not sure, I could work it out now I suppose, but I'm just not sure whether I've hit uh, like week 1 10k, week 2 20k, week k, week 3 30k, I'm not sure whether I've hit that. I know the first week I did and the last week I've done, but uh, because of how the weeks are sort of structured, like I said, a bit strange. <coughs> It don't run uh, Sunday, Sunday or Monday, Monday. It's like Tuesday or Wednesday to Wednesday. Uh, so I'm, I, and I weren't really aware of it until uh, last week. So I'm not fully sure whether I've actually hit the weekly targets. I've hit the monthly one, but I don't think that will apply if I haven't. But but I mean, the 10 and 20k for week one and two, I should have hit them no problems. It's just the third week. Uh, 10, 15, 20, yeah, it is dodgy uh, as to whether I have, well that was day one and there's that, I think it'll be close, I think it'll be very close, 10, 15, 20, 25 and that, but these are a bit over, that's two, so I think I might have just done it, so, well we'll, we'll see, you don't get anything, you know, it's not special or out, but it's just a nice little, you know, sort of achievement along the way, if you will. So, yeah. Right, that's that bit. Cheers. Quando 
Sei lontana, sogno all'orizzonte, manca le parole. E io sì lo so che sei con me, con me. Tu mi alluna, tu sei qui con me. Mio sole, tu sei qui con me, 